All right, taking a little break. Um, stove's out. Um, getting everything ready to take this kitchen cabinet out. Um, not real sure how I want to do it because. I think it's going to try to come apart, but it, it kind of needs to be redone anyway, at least a new countertop. So, not real sure how I want to do it. I'm just going to start taking it apart. Um, sink, I'll take the sink out. It looks like I can get it out pretty easily. So here's, here's a lot of the damage. It took that paneling out. Um, show you up from the outside. There's damage here. So here's what we got on the outside. I can't remember where I left off, but we've got some stuff in here. I don't know how much higher I'll take the paneling off. Some of the paneling, or the siding, some of the paneling is messed up on the inside. So I'll probably fix the rest of this from the inside. Um, so I think this is as high as I'm going to go on taking the siding off. But the, the, the paneling that's right here, and the paneling that's on that wall right there, that bottom paneling, all that's kind of coming apart. So I think I'll just pull the paneling off and fix that from the inside and leave the rest of the siding on. Uh, so here's what, so right here, hang on, okay, right here, we got the frame of the trailer and sitting on that is this two and a half inch floor joist and this joist is uh, a little mushy in some places so what we're gonna have to do is come back further than the joist and build the floor up and we'll probably I'm guessing it's got runners that run this way um, I'll know more once I get the floor cut um, If so, uh, we can scab on and probably make this uh, wider. Depends on how bad these, uh, if it's got runners and they're okay, then uh, we'll just replace the joist and we will uh, scab on another piece to the joist or I may just split a 4x4 so that this is wider to uh, get to good floor. But it doesn't look like I'll have to come too far. You know, maybe another 4 inches or so to get to good plywood. Um, you can see it's mainly right at this joist. And probably just mainly because the joist stayed wet and it uh, caused the plywood to stay wet right there. So I think if we go a few inches past the joist we should have good wood, good plywood. So that's where we are right now. Um, so I guess let me get the uh, cabinet out and we'll go from there. Um, In here, you know, the paneling's gone. Um, so we're just going to have to build this, reframe this area right here. And I may end up having to pull the fridge out. So, but this is the worst side, or at least from what I can tell, the worst side. Uh, in the back, 
like I said about the bathroom, all this is solid. The joist is solid. We've got mushy stuff back here, but even it's just the outside of it. Um, in there, it's good. Um, we're gonna have to address this, but it's not. I'm gonna fix it, but it's not near as bad as that up there. Of course, we don't know anything over here yet, but this side's definitely got some issues going on here. The joist is uh, bad back here, too. They've done some work trying to build it back up. You know, they put a board in there. It had a tire blowout at some point and took out that uh, this metal uh, support. So I'll probably just build a new one instead of try trying to straighten this one out. It's pretty much broke off. And just, it's barely holding on. So probably just build a new one of those. And I had an idea on uh, just giving this a little more support over here and probably do it on the other side too. Um, see it's got this metal frame support here and this is what the joist sits on. And then it's got one in the front and that's it. It spans this whole distance um, with no support. So about right where this jack is, I'm going to uh, build another one of these and uh, weld it to the frame so that midway that joist has something to sit on. That's just to help kind of straighten it, strengthen it. And I'll probably just go back with regular plywood for the floor and all the wood, I'm going to put treated wood. I'll be uh, splitting two by fours to do all the all the framing. So it should, uh, when I get done with it, it should be better than when I started it. I think the plywood I use should be better grade than what they used, and I'll probably treat it somehow. Uh, I don't want to use treated plywood just because treated plywood kind of sucks, at least the quality of it. Um, it seems like it's always delaminating. Um, so I'll probably just buy regular plywood and try to, maybe I'll fiberglass it with resin or something like that, just to, or even Thompson's or something, just to kind of help keep it. And then I'll probably paint it too. So, just give it a little more of a chance of holding up. So anyway, we're still in the deconstruction phase, but we're making slow progress. But we'll get it all fixed up. Once you kind of get it all cleared out, it's and you can look at it, it's, it goes pretty quick. I'm getting those kitchen cabinets out kind of a pain but it's gonna make it a whole lot easier to work and I'll pull the heater out pull the rest of this couch frame out and uh, that'll leave this whole area up in here open so I can just cut the floor out cut the bad part of the floor out and the bad part of this stops about midway. I think this joist right here is good up to there, but it'll probably replace the whole thing unless I build another little frame thing and uh, where I can, you know, set the existing one on it and then our new one. But it'll probably be easier just to replace the whole thing and uh, probably have to pull this one couch frame out. This one shouldn't have to come out. Uh, it should be good to stay. And I don't know about back here. Probably have to pull the hot water heater out. And I can kind of show y'all a little bit.
Um, so you can see back here where it's this floor is kind of messed up, but it's it's straight, which is you know that up there was dipped down, so something's keeping the floor up. So that joist must not be completely out yet. But we'll probably have to pull the, uh, that's that back bunk, probably have to pull the bunk frame out to replace this. That's the joist right there, and this floor is bad past the joist. So, we're going to probably replace a little more floor back here. lights yeah this is uh, pretty mushy back here solids that must not have been leaking down this wall. I think it was leaking down this wall. So we'll pull that bunk out and there's a closet in there. We may have to pull that closet out. So anyway this is uh, rambling. Uh, we'll get it taken care of. All it is is work right? Looks solid up there. It's just soft back here. Or gone. <laughs> A lot of people would uh, say it's too far gone, but I don't think so. And I plan on keeping it, storing it covered, so that'll help keep this from happening again. And I plan on seeing how they rigged up their hatch on the roof and fixing it correctly. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>